welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm Mary Trimble with your readings for August the uh, 13th through August the uh, August the yeah August the 13th through August the 19th. Now, um, this is for your Sun, Moon, and Rising guys, and these are general readings. So, if you would have, if you would like a personal reading, you can click right here on this link up here and that will uh, give you some information on how to get a personal reading with me. Um, listen, guys, I'm so excited. We, I am up to over 4K in subscribers. That's huge for me. I am so grateful and I'm so ecstatic. When I upload videos, it kind of goes down a bit and then goes back up. So it might be um, a little below when you check it out, but it will raise uh, higher. So I'm really excited and Thank you, thank you, really thank you for subscribing. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy that you stopped by and I really hope that you'll come back and that I hope you enjoy your readings here. Um, I start off with um, an astrological report for the week and then I go into the readings um, for your horoscope. And as I said before, it's your, for your sun, moon and rising. All the links will be below in the show more section. You'll also get other links down there you can check out, you know, um, check me out on Patreon. There's a link right here or below in the show more section. And that's another way to support me. Um, and check me out on Instant Go. That's down below also. Uh, what else? I think that's it. If you are if you are returning, thank you. I really appreciate you because you keep coming back and you give me that inspiration to keep going with this. Um, now, the astrological report for the week. The big news is that Mars, and uh, tonight, I'm actually recording this on Sunday, Mars is moving, it's still moving retrograde and it's going back into the sign of Capricorn. Now, Mars loves Capricorn, right? Because it can get things done. However, it is retrograde. So we may kind of experience some clashes business-wide wise because Capricorn kind of rules business and career and ambition and uh, Mars is get up and go and take action right so we might kind of have some this is look this is really a good time for you to look at all the blockages that you put in why do you procrastinate what makes you procrastinate is it fear is it what, a, what is it for you? It's good to look at that so that you can remove those blocks and get ready for when it goes direct to spring into action. This is a really good time to plan, right? To get your ducks in a row, to think about what is your next move? How are you going to make that move? So if you know that, um, when you know that Mercury is in retrograde and you've got this, uh, and you've got it and it's in Capricorn, which is very ambitious and uh, business oriented. You can really plan your future business wise and spring into action once it goes direct at the end of the month. Now, also, Mercury is retrograde, too, and that is really slowing down and getting ready to go direct on Saturday the 18th. Another good time to, you know, get your ducks in a row, maybe get a, maybe get a, uh, an oil change for your car. Um, if you have to get to work, leave a little extra early because, you know, you could run into some, um, some delays on the subways or trains or things like that. So it's very good to kind of leave a little extra early, especially if you have an important meeting, you know, definitely plan ahead and leave a bit early. Better to be early than late, isn't it? And you can always hang out and get a cup of tea and relax before you go into your meeting or before you're going to work. Um, so that's, you know, when Mercury goes direct, there's always a little uh, time, maybe a week or so, maybe a week, five to seven days of where the effects of Mercury direct is still 
um, is still happening. So it's very important to remember that, you know, to allow for that. So if you've noticed that people are a little passive aggressive or you've got that, you know, silent freeze from some people, you know, that will all change and abate once uh, these planets go direct. Also, a good thing to be aware of is or to be conscious of is, you know, Mercury is all about electronic messages, right? Communication. So be aware, um, make sure that you are sending your message to the correct person when replying, right? Or responding. So be very aware. I mean, <laughs> I think we've all done that. I've responded or replied to somebody, um, in error. So without further ado, let's go to your reading, shall we? Hello, Leo. Lovely, wonderful Leo. Happy birthday, darling. It's still your birthday season, just about. Um, welcome to your reading uh, for August the 13th through August the 19th. And the first card out for you is the Ace of cups darling look this is definitely a gift of sight you see that that's like the third eye i'm sorry i'm distracted by a little bee this is the third eye darling you are getting the gift of sight it's like your intuition is activated um this week and you have been gifted it you kind of see all the moods you see the moon going through all the phases you are seeing that clearly and you're seeing your look when this card comes up it's like rely on your intuition right just you have it so rely on, don't ignore your gut feeling this week particularly and look i have the six of wands which is this is celebrate this is like being getting accolades I feel like something at work is coming up for you. I feel that you're going to be uh, rewarded in some way. But I feel that it's um, praise, that people are going to notice what wonderful work you're doing and how hard you're working and um, how much you do. I feel that you are really getting accolades for uh, your hard work and I've got justice cards so it is saying particularly this week don't take any shortcuts right um, this is a definitely about doing the right thing for the right reason the justice card is always um, about balance it's about doing the righteous thing that's for the highest good of everyone um, not to be in selfish mode this week and really don't take any shortcuts. It's definitely about taking the high road. Um, and the next card out is the Ace of Pentacles. So you are really starting to see your hard work pay off. You're really getting all the worldly goods that you um, deserve and that you've worked so hard for. Now, when the page of Pentacles comes up, it's saying that, you know, look, sometimes he's a messenger, right? But he's also an apprentice that has got all the knowledge that has graduated, if you will, right? He has everything in place. He just doesn't kind of have the, the experience. Um, but this is saying that you are, you are ready for the next phase. So it's very important to, um, be, uh, what's the word I want to say, to focus. I would focus on on where you're going and what your next step is in life. And look, clarifying it is the devil. What's really funny with this card, look, he kind of looks like a lion, right? <laughs> um, well, look, this is about being chained to material, the material realm. So the only thing I would say, Leo, and I do have a friend that does this, is spends, he's a, he loves to shop. He's a Leo and he loves to be surrounded by opulence and beautiful belongings and possessions. And he spends a lot of time shopping and getting there. This is saying curb your appetite. Um, I, I, you know what? I don't want to say curb. That's not a right, the right way, the right word to say. But 
try to hold off on any purchases. And honestly, Mercury is in retrograde, so it's a very good idea to hold back and to postpone any uh, purchases that you may have in mind right now. And perhaps, you know, stay off the internet for, <laughs> for online shopping and definitely don't visit any shops, darling. It's always a good practice if you, you know, if you want something to go in and say, OK, let me just walk away. And if I still want that tomorrow or the next day, then I'll come back. Nine times out of ten, you won't go back. Um, so this is reminding you to really kind of um, hold off on on addictive behavior in general, actually, you know kind of overspending, over drinking, you know, overeating, anything like that. Um, it's a good idea to uh, refrain from um, doing that kind of behavior, for acting out on that behavior. Now, the next card we have is the Queen of Pentacles. More manifestation, darling. She has arrived. She's got it all. Look how big and large her peacock is you know it's just she's just surrounded by luxury you know look it it talks look the queen of pentacles is all about manifestation as with you know all of the pentacle cards in a way uh, but really you get that by hard work and determination so something's going on with you you have to kind of be determined and keep going right? Keep the momentum going. That's hard work. Yes, enjoy your luxury, enjoy your belongings and your possessions, that's for sure. Um, but really uh, persevere and, and know that it's hard work that gets you there. No shortcuts this week, um, for sure. Now you have the King of Swords. He's like the Justice card, darling. He's, the, he's another... He's another version of the justice card. It's about doing things for the right reason. It's about being um, almost self-disciplined in a way. It's like, you know, making sure that you are doing something for the right reason. Um, it's funny because I, I got a sometimes it can be don't rush to judge leo it's about doing things for the right reasons it's about taking the high road it's about also you know look doing things for the right reason i'll tell you why because the next card that comes up sorry is the five of swords and this is about look this is about accepting your limitations it's about looking at Sometimes we've got to back down from a fight, Leo. Sometimes the fight, we're, sometimes we start this fight, right? And then we're like a dog with a bone and we can't let it go. But the right thing for you to do is to not battle this one. Look, sometimes we need to lose the battle so that we can win the war, perhaps, right? It could be that. This is about treating people the right way. Don't humiliate people. It's about backing off and perhaps even uh, saying that you're wrong. Sometimes there's a lot of strength in saying that, you, okay, you may not have to say you're wrong, right? But you can say that the other person maybe is, or you can say you were wrong as opposed to saying the other person is right, whatever's easiest for you, right? Sometimes it's easier to say we're wrong than say you were right. Um, the thing is, it's like to know when to back down from this. And the justice card is saying, do the right, uh, the king of swords is saying, do the right thing for the right reason, right? It's about making a decision that's for the higher good of everyone, not just for you. It's about being, taking the high road, knowing when to stop, when to let go and when to move on. Because the Five of Swords is kind of one of those battles where you are hanging on um, to that bone for dear life, even when you know that you can't win. It's about cutting your losses so that you can move on. It's just not worth the fight. And that's what you're being told here. Choose your battles wisely and do take um, action for the higher good of everyone. Or don't take action for the higher good of everyone. Just back down. Let it go and move on. Because 
by hanging in there, you're holding yourself back and you want to go forward. You want to go forward with momentum and you, you know, you want this, you know. It is your birthday, so we are going to pull out an extra card. And the spirit mess messages jumped out at me uh, for you this week, Leo. Let's see what spirit messages, what spirit has to say to you. So, what wonderful blessings, messages, and guidance do the spirit messages... Oh, this, oh look at this. Two. Two came out. Ah, believe. The force that works, hold on, I have to put that. The force that works through your soul, determining what's possible or impossible, the difference between success over failure, and above all, who you are is the power of your belief. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And it's so funny because that you've got the light right there in the heart. And Leo's are heart-centered. All about love, right? So this is about believing. I Believing in yourself, you know? And then you've got serenity, which is... I'm going to show you something else as well. The most important relationship you can have is with yourself. This is a time to honor, nurture, and love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that are left over from yesterday. Don't let past issues and resentments interfere with your serenity today. And so look, the serenity, and look at the light and the heart again, right there in the chest cavity. What a beautiful card. So you have believe in yourself and also love, honor, and respect yourself. Um, don't allow this to really kind of uh, affect you in a negative way. Just handle it justly and fairly. Don't let, allow that to disrupt your serenity. Believe in the power of you and how fair and just you can be and remain the calm in the storm. Leo, thank you so much for tuning in. I really love and appreciate you all. Mwah! And I'll see you next week. For more information on a personal reading with Mary, go to www.liveinthesolution.com.